Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. In Cape Town, we'd have said, Good evening, Pastor. Uh, I bring you greetings from Cape Town. My family is here with me today. First of all, I would like to take the opportunity to thank Pastor Burgess and Stronghold Baptist Church for the opportunity to minister the Word of God today. I always say when I'm in the United States, in South Africa, we have airtime. And this airtime, we buy by the minute. And after a few minutes, the airtime runs dry and you cannot make no calls. The same with my English. When it runs out, you need to excuse me. And if you don't understand me, please don't gossip about me. Just come to me and say to me, Pastor, I didn't understand you and I will gladly try and answer you. I'm an Afrikaans-speaking preacher. I speak Afrikaans. If I preach Afrikaans, you are going to enjoy it. If I speak English, I'm not so sure, but I will try my best. Amen? Amen. 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 <clears throat> so the title of my sermon tonight is Rejected But Not Defeated. And today I would love to encourage each and every person of uh, year today every person in this room you can show me by your hand who already in their life felt that they were rejected once I was rejected a couple of times rejected even stand before courts because I was rejected but the word of God is clear if we have a look at the life of Jesus Christ with the announcement of his birth till his death he was rejected man rejected him from the beginning until he died on the cross of Calvary and when he resurrected to, to heaven he was still rejected so I am here today to say to the congregation of Stronghold and to every Baptist every person who was saved through our faith and who believed that uh, uh, the, uh, uh, salvation is a gift of God and it is eternal I'm here to say to you be prepared you you are going to be rejected someone is going to turn your way someone is going to hate you for preaching the gospel someone is going to tell you I don't like you I, I, I made an example of pastor Stephen Anderson I said when South Africa the first country to, to reject him uh, uh, rejected him about 40 other countries rejected him but look what the Lord has done all over the world that rejected stone became a cornerstone and that meant that churches were starting to grow because a man was rejected once upon a time Jesus Christ was rejected but when he died and he rose from the grave he came with death and the rejected stone became the exalted stone through God amen so every time when we are rejected in life we shouldn't take it and say oh nobody cares about me no you need to stand up and stand for the word of God whenever whenever one someone say to you no I don't want to listen then you say to him too bad if you don't want to listen but you will see God has a way of opening another door Amen. even though you've been rejected here I can remember one day uh, brother Segura and I uh, in Arizona we were doing soul winning uh, we came to a complex where uh, 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 Teresa used to stay and at the complex we knocked on the door and 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 and, and we had a good time doing soul winning in, in the complex and this one guy he, he looked at us he opened the door and he said hey uh, uh, can I tell you uh, 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 share the gospel with you and the only thing that guy said to us hail Satan hail Satan hail Satan we looked at him and said God and immediately we turned around because we knew this guy is rejecting us but that didn't stop us so this is what I have to say to each and every one of you once you are rejected that doesn't mean you need to lay down we need to get up have a look at Pastor Shelley he's been rejected in the church where he was but yet he stands for the truth he had the guts to stand up before the city or the municipality and to say we say no to homosexuality we will not allow our children to go into this although you reject us we will preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ the Bible says in 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 Psalm 118 
verse 22 to 27, the stone which the builders has refused. In other words, the stone that the builders has rejected is become a headstone. So every time when someone rejects you, you need to say to yourself, what can I do to become a headstone? What can I do to become a cornerstone? I'm not going to take it laying down. Thank you for rejecting me, but this will give me the power to keep on pushing because I need to push to share the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Verse 23, this is the Lord's doing. In other words, this is the Lord's doing. Even in rejection, it is the Lord's doing because once you are rejected and you can stand for the word of God, God will exalt you. Amen. God will lift you up. Amen. God will bless you. God will make you a better Christian, a better soul winner. You just need to keep going. You cannot give up. Yeah. This is what Satan wants us to do. He wants us to give up. He wants us to say, no, we don't want to do soul winning. I want to tell you, here in America, you guys have a luxury doing soul winning. You can go out any time of the night. You can go out and do soul winning whenever you can. Where we do soul winning, we have to listen for gunshots, gang fights, people being robbed, killed and murdered. But yet we need to go out because even people in the most dangerous areas, they need to hear the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. This is the Lord's doings. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Sometimes when we are rejected, we need to ask God, God, what do you want us to do? Is this, re this rejection a stepping stone to something better? Is this rejection or people that are telling me, I don't want to listen to you. I don't have time for God. Is, this, is there something better that you want us to do? And, and, and uh, verse 24 says... Uh, no, sorry, verse 25. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee. Send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. God is the Lord which has showed us light. Bind the sacrifice with the crowds, even unto the horns of the altar. Friends, we need to understand in life and, 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 and if you, you, you can speak to any person that is a boulder, the most important, uh, and, and I'm not talking about, I, I'm not sure about this wood building, but I'm talking about with mortar and with bricks, the most important stone in the, uh, uh, for a boulder is, is the, the, the cornerstone. And this cornerstone will then give the, 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 the boulder a line. Uh, once you pull the line, he knows that he needs to, whenever you plant a brick, he needs to do it right and straight in to that line and sometimes when 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 we call Jesus our our, our cornerstone remember Jesus was not uh, when Jesus was rejected by his own Jewish leaders and and, and 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 when Jesus is our cornerstone the only thing that you and I need to do as children of God we need to stay in line we need to stay in line so that God can build us up you see the problem with most of the churches they don't want to stay in line. They want to hear what the pastor has to say, but they are lazy to read their own Bible. They want to listen to what the prophet and the fake prophet has to say. They want to kuraba kuraba all day long, but they don't want to listen to the word of the Lord. And here I'm to say to you that a lot of people, they are missing out because they do not take time to read the word of the God, the, the, the word of God. And the only way for you and I as a Christian to stay in line with the, our cornerstone called Jesus Christ is by reading the word of God. If you're in the time in the world, it's just like we heard the preacher said yesterday, you need to open up your Bible because as soon as the devil came and, and, and he tried to, to tempt Jesus Christ, he told the devil, it is written. In other words, he knew that that he needed to tell this guy it, uh, this is what what is in the word of God so my friends know one thing 
if you are in line with the cornerstone called Jesus Christ although people reject you you are not rejected although people try to defeat you you never can be defeated when Peter preached to the Jewish leaders in Acts 4 uh, he quoted Psalm 118 to show that Jesus is the rejected stone whom God, uh, whom God made a cornerstone of our salvation. Jesus is the cornerstone of our salvation. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, man will reject us for preaching the true gospel of God. People don't like us for preaching the true gospel of God. If you're going to preach a gospel that is watered down, a, a, a gospel that say you can do this and you can do that, you can invite women to come and preach, you can do this and you can do all types of evil, they are, you are going to be welcome in the churches. But as soon as you start to preach the true message of God, as soon as you try to get people in line with the word of God, they start to reject you. Why? Because people hate the truth. People hate God. People out there hate the word of God. They hate the truth. And, 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 and I would love to say to you, although we are rejected while fulfilling the last command, remember, every time when we go out to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, we are fulfilling the last command in Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Go in therefore and preach the gospel. Every time when you go out to preach this gospel, you need to know you can expect to be rejected. Amen. You see, but the last command of Jesus Christ is our first priority. That's why we should love soul winning. We should love the things of God. We should love to work for the Lord. We should love getting up and saying, this is what I want to do for God today. If I don't have opportunity to, to preach to someone what I'm doing soul winning today, if I get opportunity to preach at work, I will do it at work. When I go drink a coffee with a friend, I will share the gospel with that person. But time has come that you and I preach the gospel. And even if we are rejected, we know that the re that rejection is from the person. But God will eventually exalt us and lift us up. You see, my friends, uh, uh, Jesus Christ has given us his last command in Matthew 28. That is to go out and preach the gospel. So we shouldn't be ashamed. Although we are going to be rejected. They, the Jewish leaders, rejected him. And God, but God not only accepted him, but God also put Jesus Christ in a position of honor. In other words, everybody, they said, no, you're not the son of man. You're not a Messiah. But God proved to them that he is indeed the son of God. Uh, Peter pressed the point home with a powerful conclusion salvation he said is fine and no one else for there is no other name under the heaven given to men by which we must be saved but by the name of Jesus Acts 4 verse 12 neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under the heaven given amongst men whereby we must be saved no other name we can only be saved by the name of Jesus these was the words uh, uh, these words were uttered exclusively there is no hope there is no way there is no other name but the name of Jesus if we want to be saved we must come to God we must come to God's way or we must not come at all and God's way the Bible says in John 14 verse 6 Jesus said I am the way I am the truth I am the way, I am the truth, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. By rejecting the cornerstone called Jesus Christ, the world tried to deny us who believe on him uh, 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 the right 
to eternal life. They tried, they tried their best to deny us the right to eternal life. So if uh, they thought if they're going to reject him, that every, every person in earth were going to reject him. But he was rejected by some, but he was never defeated by God because God has exalted him. Remember, Jesus Christ was rejected from the day that he was born or the day of his birth until the day that he was crucified on Calvary. Friends, we who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we who are saved through faith will experience the same rejection. The same rejection will be felt by you and I. Every time someone rudely chase us away while doing so winning that means that they are not only rejecting us but they're only also rejecting the word of God yeah. and I'm saying this to you that every soul winner every soul winner will become a rejected vessel but every soul winner who push in other words pray until something happen push till someone gets saved he will become an overcomer in Christ Jesus Amen. do not be like the builders who rejected God's stone of salvation do not reject Jesus Christ do not stumble over rejected stones the very stone that the builders rejected has become the headstone see every time when people reject you that you become the headstone let people say I wonder how that pastor who has been persecuted been brought before courts been be, 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 been scolded been sweared at my family has gone through such a lot because I preach the gospel how come this guy is doing all these things that he's doing when when, when, when we do a community and win event we involve thousands of children they they can't believe it today my family is sitting here with me they must think that I'm a rich man but if they only know that I'm here without paying a sin for my flight from that side to here that is God Amen. that is God and that is why I say to you whenever you feel that you are rejected whenever you feel that sometimes you feel alone especially when people say to you no I don't want to hear what you have to preach I don't want to hear what you have to say no one thing the Bible says that God will never leave us nor will he forsake us right. friends I'm here to say even Jesus knew how it felt to be rejected by people because whenever Jesus pray, uh, preach, he was confronted by people who tried to say to him, you're not the son of God, you're not the Messiah, you're nothing. Uh, but Jesus didn't take notice of them. Jesus continued with the work of his father. Jesus continued to preach uh, th that the kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus was on a mission and he completed his mission irrespective of the rejection that he felt he speak uh, he he completed it he was never defeated I, I i will say people on the cross might have think that it is finished it is done uh, 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 there is death no one uh, 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 look we told you he was not going to make it but they never knew after the third day that the rejected vessel is going to stand up and he's going to overcome death even where he was going so it is my belief since God wants all his, child, uh, his children to live godly lives that is pleasing unto God you and I we will suffer rejection we will suffer persecution because this is what our Savior went through this is what our Savior went through if you're a Christian and you've got it easy you really need to examine your own life if your children has it easy examine your life 
because the day when you got saved and you got seriously saved was the day when you opened yourself to attacks from the devil Amen. friends the Bible says in Matthew 21 42 and Jesus said unto them did he never read in the scripture the stone which the builders rejected the same stone became the headstone of the corner this is the Lord's doing and it's marvelous in his eyes just imagine you being rejected by everyone pastor Shelley everyone say to you ah you're a failure what you what are you trying to do you are trying to run us down they want to be us be us them and all the nonsense name we are children of God and we will tell them till we die we will tell them that you can reject us but someone will stand up and continue the wonderful work of God God needs men and women to go out there and preach the gospel of God without favor no matter if people disallow you Jesus is our cornerstone we need to stay in line and go out and preach the gospel there is nothing else that we can do what I admire of this church or of the Baptist and UIFB these people will travel all over the world to go and share the gospel with people that they don't know and that is what God told us that is what we must do people travel from afar to be here to this camp to listen to a guy speaking in broken English but through the grace of God I am here to say to you I can be rejected by anyone but I know God will lift me up my foundation it is in God so no matter how people disallow you Jesus will remain the cornerstone and if Jesus is our cornerstone and you and I are in line I give you the blessed assurance people will never be able to keep you down because you have you have a, a commandment you you have the authority of God to go out and preach the gospel when people hate you for preaching the true gospel of God especially our loved one our family and our friends rejects us for preaching the gospel especially when they are uh, uh, in homosexual relationships when they are wicked they, they, they reject you it hurts you because uh, you, you you know for many years you've grown up with a brother or sister and now that you are saved you want to see that your family are saved and the very family that you go out and try to to to, to win for the Lord or try to get saved that is the very same family that rejected you exactly same thing happened to Jesus Jesus came to this earth and who was the people who rejected him the Jews the Jews so don't be surprised if your friends and your family says I want nothing to do with him God give you new family look at my family look at my family you see because at the end of the day the rejected one is the exalted one I would like to, to say to you the word of the Lord says in John in John 15 18 and 19 if the world hate you he know that it hated me before it hated you and if he were of this world the world would love this own in other words if you were wicked the world would have loved you but now that you are saved, the world will hate you. But because ye are not of this world, but I have chosen you out of this world, therefore the world will hate you. So wherever you go in life, wherever you go in this world, preaching the true gospel of God, you will need to put on the full armor of God because be ready for persecution be ready 
for people to try and kill you for the work of God. I, I am here to say to you, my dear beloved brothers and sisters, after the rejection and after the pain, I know God will always comfort us. Psalm 34, 7 says, The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them of all their troubles. Wow, what a powerful verse. You cry before God and say, Lord, I want my family to be saved. Lord, I cannot take it anymore. You see, sometimes we need to take our burdens and our needs to God. Sometimes we try to fight a battle with our family that has long time been lost. Time for you just to pray and to trust God. The Bible says that the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their trouble. Remember, when this world rejects you, God didn't reject you. When man rejects us for preaching the gospel, God will always lift us up. Psalm 94 verse 19 says, For the Lord will, cast, will not cast off his people. Neither will he forsake his inheritance. Whenever you're out there and you feel like you're alone, and that you feel like you're all rejected, and, 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 and believe you me, I come from a country where, where sometimes I feel alone, like there was nobody. When long before I met Pastor Stephen Anderson, I preach against the Sodomites. I was hated. And when, and when Pastor Stephen came or wanted to come to the country and I started to back him up, it was almost like putting salt onto a raw, uh, 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 a raw wound. And, 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 and the homos started to hate me for what I'm doing. I didn't care. My words to those pastors in Africa who says that we need to love all I tell them I'm not in the popularity contest Amen. Amen. I don't need to be loved by any homo Amen. my wife and my children love me and that is all the love that I need Amen. I love my God so even when we are rejected by man even when man try to harm us God will protect us God will also restore what the enemy has destroyed Jeremiah 10 17 for I will restore health unto thee and I will heal thee and thy wounds says the Lord because they called thee an outcast saying this Zion whom no man has seeked after friends I'm here to say to you as I'm about to conclude this short sermon that put your complete trust in God. Commit yourself unto God. When you feel rejected by this wicked world, commit yourself and say, Lord, this is one day that I don't feel like going out soul winning. Now remember the enemy want, don't want you to go out soul winning. And, 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 and that's why sometimes it feels like, no, 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 I'm not going to make it. Uh, in our church, you get people that call and say, Pastor, I have flu. But later when we cook for someone, then they're all there. So, 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 so you need to do this. Put your complete trust in God. Proverbs 16 verse 3 said, Commit thy works unto the Lord. And thy thought shall be established. He says, Psalm 37, verse 4 Delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Friends, let us put our trust in God. Let us trust God for whatever we do. God will come true for his children. It is not only, it's only with the help of God that we, you and I, 
can come, will overcome rejection. Sometimes even in our marriage life, when husband and wife, they have a difference with one another, sometimes you feel that like you are being rejected by your own. But yet you overcome. Yet you talk, you overcome. You then pray together, you then love one another. So when you are rejected outside by people you are trying to save, remember Jesus also tried to get people saved. When you are rejected for doing that, remember one thing, God hasn't rejected you. God isn't done with your marriage. God isn't done with your life. God isn't done with anything that might seem that it is, has been rejected. This afternoon, this evening, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I would love to say this to you. When you feel alone, when you feel rejected, when you feel like no one cares, I'm here to say Jesus cares. Amen. Jesus paid the price for you on the cross of Calvary. You, you and I, we have a simple duty. In Genesis, uh, um, Adam and Eve had a simple responsibility. Don't eat of the tree. And they disobeyed God. And look what happened to the world. Here, yeah, you and I have a simple responsibility. Go ye therefore and preach the gospel. Even though you are rejected, go and preach. And I give you the blessed assurance. You may turn away from this door, but the next door someone will be saved. Someone will be saved because of your preaching. So never give up, even when you are rejected. Let us bow our heads in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we sometimes feel that we are rejected by this world, our family, our friends, oh God. Father, but we know that you never reject us. Father, whenever we feel like we are rejected, whenever we, we feel like we are down, I ask, oh Lord, that you will lift us up. Father, that you will give us the strength to keep on going and preaching the gospel to this wicked world, telling them that the Savior is here to save them. I pray, oh God, as we then go further on this camp and further with the preaching, I pray your blessings upon our lives in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.